Right, and uh, we're still with our celebration to the 29th anniversary of our beloved uh, channel. Throughout the years, uh, throughout the months and days uh, of hard work, me, all my colleagues, the ones who uh, were with us, and the ones who are working and exerting their utmost effort during uh, those particular uh, time. We've been through uh, uh, all the developments, the international and local developments. We have been through all the national uh, accomplishment, trying to portray Egypt's image. And um, trying to see how we are uh, uh, have we have been uh, doing and how we have been uh, accomplishing our uh, mission uh, I have a dear guest a real iconic uh, media figure uh, someone who uh, presented uh, Egypt at a very particular time with the English language one of the very uh, beginners of the news readers the or, or, or the news readers at its best times. Someone who after that have represented uh, Egypt in many of the world organizations uh, worldwide, uh, who was part of also Egypt's image, Dr. Brahim Kerdeni. Dr. Brahim Kerdeni, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. What a lovely introduction. Thank you. You are quite welcome and we have all the pleasure of having you with us in our celebration uh, today. And uh, let me know from you, as an iconic media figure, uh, how do you view the role of Nile TV in all those years in trying to portray e Egypt, Egypt's image, e Egypt's uh, point of view and Egypt at large? First, let me tell you something. I have been watching for the past few hours the celebration of uh, the 29 years. Yes. It's been so nostalgic, I cannot begin to tell you. I mean, thinking, you know, Nile TV means so much to us. I remember what Hassan Ahmed started it in 1993. I was extremely jealous because I wasn't chosen. <laughs> I can say that now. <laughs> of course, you would have been an added value. <laughs> but, but I think Night TV has... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Night TV has done so much for each of it added so much. Let me tell you, I believe that now we should all put our resources into the English speaking channel that addresses the whole world. Mm. You know, we have our own channels in Egypt. Of course, the Arabic-speaking channels, there are plenty, there are many, they do a great job. But who reaches the outside public? Who reaches... America, Europe, uh, South America, we need to get the public outside to know how we are living here. Egypt has advanced so much. Indeed. Indeed. And we need to let the public know, the foreigners. I was presenting Egyptian Panorama on Channel 3. It was a lovely program with tourists from all over the world. It was so enjoyable to give them, you know, a taste of our lives, how we live, how they live. Dr. Kerdeni, can you just please uh, 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 Go ahead. Uh, hear us from, uh, uh, from your phone because uh, uh, so we can really communicate better.
the voice isn't getting there at all. I can hardly hear you on my phone, but I'll try. Go ahead. Right. Is so, it better like this? Yes, it is much better. <laughs> okay. Much better. So please continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just uh, saying that, I mean, Nile TV means so much to all of us. It really does. And I really think we should put all our resources for Nile TV. We want to reach the whole world in English so that they can know how we're living, what advances we've made, what Egypt is doing, where we're going, uh, our tourism. We have I mean, so many beautiful places in Egypt that the public outside needs to know about. And our chance is you, Nile TV. I was watching Hisham Abbas speaking. My God, he brought back memories, you know. I, 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 I remember presenting him in Viva Bianchi on the beach while he was singing. He's such a wonderful personality. And then I saw Tahrid's uh, speech as well. I mean, her, her, her interview now. And I recall having been with her, being interviewed by her. She's such a great person. You're lucky to have her for a boss. You really are. Yes, we are indeed. And uh, definitely the interview with our colleague Grana uh, with his uh, Shema Bess was uh, great. Let me ask you here, how, how did we do throughout the years? Did we accomplish, were we able to accomplish our mission of portraying Egypt in the proper uh, uh, way and uh, what do we need at this upcoming stage so as to be able to improve uh, uh, what we are presenting. I'm, I'm not just speaking about myself, but I'm speaking on behalf of all my colleagues. I really believe, you know, I really believe, I believe you're doing the best with what resources you have. But I really believe the state has to take you into consideration. You have to have more resources. You have to have clearer pictures. The sound has to be clear to everybody worldwide. You have to be able to reach the whole world easily, accessible. All these things are needed. We need to inject new blood as well. Young people fill the screen with life as well. So there's always the, the expertise and added on the new blood. All these things. You've done a great job with what facilities you have. Dr. Ibrahim El Kardeni, uh, our iconic media figure, we thank you so much for being with us in our celebration uh, today. And uh, I guess we're continuing on with our celebration, and we'll be back just after this break.